Alright, attempt number two. Oh, watch out this guy. Oh, let's just speed run it. What do you want? How can I help? It's the same guy again. I'm gonna save this, so after I talk to the world, save the game. Hmm. It seems I found it. Give me that, let me get the money. Nicely carved. Hmm. Someone in the village might recognize it. Good option, mate. We've got twenty three K, lad. My bad, our good win. This is crazy. Sir Hamish sent me to find out what he wants, and to get him out of here if possible. Well, then... You needn't worry. So I would... Where did you... Let's do a deal. Very well. I found it in... Damn it! That the vicar... The cross... What do you want to... I don't know. I see. My... You know what... What do you... That's simple. But how... Certainly... I know the... All right. I don't know. Right. Good luck to you. Jump, you stupid oars!
Watch this, watch this, watch this. Ah! Why did it damage me? <laughs> okay, it's so stupid, fam. Could try listening from here. Well, I'll be waiting here for ten hours. <laughs> took old Vensel to the presbytery today. His farm is nearby. It's only a matter of time before... Before they come for me. I know. And what are we going to do about it? That vicar is baying for blood, the beast. 
will devour you alive. I do not intend to do anything about it. I shall not waver from my faith, nor turn my back on it. My dear, what on earth are you saying? If they come for me, I will go quietly. And I will not lie. Are you serious? Don't you know what they'll do to you? I can well imagine. But I am resolved. The Lord have mercy. Do not fear. I surrender to God's will. And I do not condemn you if you decide to leave. I'll stay by your side. Although I'd rather that you decided otherwise. I know. And you have no fear, my brothers in Christ. Stay true to God's plan as I shall. Go and spread the true faith amongst all good folk. I'm sorry, I wish there was another way. You should eat your supper and depart right away. Who knows? You may come for us at dawn. God be with you. So I do tell. They most certainly are heretics. At least as far as I can tell. Are you sure? What did you hear? Well, for a start, the evening prayers were led by a woman. That is certainly unusual, but nothing conclusive in itself. That's not all. They're afraid the vicar will be coming after them. Thumbs up. Who wouldn't fear that? That swine finds fault with everyone. Well, it's not like you'd have to try too hard. Mrs. Bower plans to confess everything. Confess what, exactly? Most likely her faith. The people of the farm were trying to discourage that, but her mind's made up. Oh, good lord, that's all I need. What am I to do? <laughs> She's planning to confess. What would you like to do? You have to talk them out of it, Hal. You must convince them to run. Convince them? That's easy for you to say. You haven't heard her talking. I'm sure you'll find it. You have to try at least. For their own good and for yours, Hal. You're right. Someone has to help them. I'm glad you see it that way. Now hurry. You never know when the vicar might come for them. I'll be with you.
Fucking off. Let me save it. I didn't go for a top. Ow! I'm dead. Bro, uh, you can't, you, you can't, you just gotta give people chances. You have to give people chances. I'm dead. You can't, do th this game needs to, this game needs to level the combat on this. I'm telling you. They need to level the combat on this. It is just stupid. It makes sense why there's less people playing this game because of that situation. Even though my combat level is very, very high, yeah, but when you get hit by so many fucking people and they fucking just run at you and you can't even fucking mark every single one of them. What's the fucking point? Fuck's sake. And what, what was the reason of the slow-mo fucking... Um, perfect parry. I was pressing it so many times. Fuck's sake. Man, that pissed me off.
you can't fight them. You can't fight four people, bro. Like, because when you hit them, it's always perfect dodge. Always, always. It's not fair. You can't have perfect dodge on the NPC every single time. God preserve. Mistress Bower. What is it you need? I've come to ask something of you. Have you? And just who are you, young man? That doesn't matter. The important thing is that I want to help you and your husband. I admit that I'm a little confused. You've come to ask me something, but at the same time you want to help me. What's going on? I want to ask you not to confess to the vicar. Just take your husband and get out of here while there's still time. I have no idea why you're so taken with my fate, or how you found out about my intentions. But I'll tell you one thing. Changing my mind is out of the question. I won't betray my faith, nor my brothers in Christ. But now you've got a chance to escape. Surely you won't throw it away. I won't oppose God's will for me. For heaven's sake, woman! If it were God's will you should burn, it would have happened a long time ago. You can't know that. And don't you think the investigation is dragging on a bit? Do you think nobody in the village speaks badly of you? Don't fool yourself. Those old people from the farm who keep to themselves, they're ripe for denouncing, aren't they? And yet nobody's come to arrest you so far. It may just be that God is giving you time to get away. You may be right, but I can't lie. It's against all my teaching. You won't have to lie if you've never asked any questions. Just leave. You can preach elsewhere. I'm sure you have lots of friends who'd like to take you in. But I don't want to run. No one wants to run away, but sometimes we have no choice. If you run, your faith will live on. That must mean something. You're right. I shouldn't give in so easily. I've just grown so weary of the endless persecution. You should pack up and run away as soon as you can. The vicar might get here any minute. Thank you. Don't delay. Good luck, then. That's probably why I died quickly. Jesus Christ, people. I found them, Monsignor. Pardon me? I found the heretics. Really? And who are they? The Bauer family and their entire household. Hmm. Well, I expect you to give me some evidence. In the last few days, I've been hearing how practically everyone here is a heretic. I found that place the captive heretic talked about, and I found a family cross there. It took a bit of asking around. But I learned it belongs to the Bowers. Their farm isn't far from here, to the north. And then all I had to do was go there and do a little spying. What of it? What did you hear? Nothing at all. The farm was deserted. Not a living soul anywhere. Ha! They fled. So they are heretics. What will you do, Monsignor? It's not the first time the Devil's Spawn has fled from me. I'll do the same as always. Track them down and capture them. Don't worry. They won't get far. Thank you for your help. You may leave. God be with you.
My humble greetings. What did you do? You killed her. What are you trying to pin on me, you bastard? You're carrying the murder weapon. You won't prove it's the murder weapon, but I'll prove I know how to use it. You were looting the body right here on the road. What of it? A corpse doesn't need possessions. I could drive you off to Ratai myself and let the bailiff decide. What the hell do you mean by that? I won't take any more of this. I'm going into town to say you're falsely accusing me. Goodbye. Hmm. Right, wait, wait, before you go there, let's see. Oh, no, blah, 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 blah. Over here. Please, sir. What's happened to you? I've walked all the way from Kuttenberg, but as you can see, I'm barefoot. My feet have fade to the bone. Don't you have a strip of clean cloth for me, good sir, so I can swathe my feet at least? Wait, I'll see what I've got. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I seldom meet such a good Samaritan. God shall repay you. Anytime. Take care now. It's all sorted out, sir. No need to worry about the vector anymore. Excellent. Some good news at last. <coughs> I've heard some pretty wild rumors from Ujits. So what happened there, exactly? Maybe this will surprise you, sir, but there really were heretics in Ujits. Are you telling me the vicar didn't come to stick his nose in my possession? I don't know about that. But he definitely suspected there were heretics hereabouts, and he was right. Christ! A man doesn't expect that sort of thing in his own fiefdom. Did you catch them? No, they ran away. The vicar's investigation wasn't exactly low-key. Anyway, they've definitely fled beyond your estate. Well, that's at least something. The vicar? He's probably hot on their heels. Hmm, well, I hope he doesn't come back. <laughs> anyway, Henry, thanks for dealing with that vicar. You pulled a thorn from my side. Here's a little token of my wish. Thank you, sir. Hmm. <sighs> St. Michael's sword? What? Can you see this? Hmm. 